Hi and welcome to cloudwords.net. In this video, we will discuss the big guns in the cloud storage area today. We tested each of these services individually and we've noted down all the little shortcomings to help you make the right decision for your needs. So no matter if you're looking at Dropbox or Google Drive, OneDrive, iCloud or Amazon Cloud Drive, there is something for you in this video. So stay tuned. Now, you don't have to watch all the related videos in one sitting though. That's why I've organized this massive content monster into a convenient playlist for you to access right here. And this first video will give you an overview of the individual services and in each little chapter, we'll go a little more into depth and explain all the nitty gritty stuff about the services. We have also created a related article, which you can access right here, that will provide you with a handy comparison chart of all the services and features. Make sure to download that if you want a little shortcut for your decision-making process. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this one. Let's start this video off with the famous Google Drive. I've done an extensive comparison between Dropbox and Google Drive already. You can watch that video right here. That's why here is just a quick summary of, of, of that service to give you an idea of what it's all about. Google Drive came into existence when Google decided to rebrand the popular Google Docs. And since then, Google Drive has found its own fans and haters both. With an amazing collaboration feature, this cloud syncing and storage service is definitely a game changer in the market, in my opinion. Here's some pros that you may find interesting and that may be good for you for your decision. 15 gigabytes of free storage, yeah. However, your Gmail storage counts towards that quota. Also, it really has the best real-time collaboration feature for documents and spreadsheets. If you're working with multiple people at the same time, Perfect. Certainly one of the quickest uploads and download speeds in our test, as you can see in our speed comparison in the article below. Folders can also be directly uploaded through the web app or the web app that you download, and you can access your documents offline. Selective sync is available, though it is restricted because you can only select the main folders to not be synced across your devices. Obviously, there are some cons as well. Google has privacy issues. After all, it is Google and a US-based company. They know what you're doing and like to collect as much data as they can because that's how they make their money after all. It's good as long as you are using Google Docs because we had certainly difficulties with larger file syncs and transfers, especially for video files. Now, let's continue with Dropbox. This godfather of cloud syncing services has been in the business for a very long time. Dropbox's success is the reason so many cloud services got launched in the market in the first place, but none of them have been really able to match it when it comes to syncing speed and certainly ease of use. Again, watch my in-depth Dropbox versus Google comparison video for more info right here. However, it's been quite some time since Dropbox announced any significant changes, so my feeling is they're resting a little bit too much on their laurels or investing too much into the business side of things. Here's some pros of the service though. Dropbox allows you to effortlessly sync your files across your devices, period. It just works beautifully. It has a very clean and crisp, easy to use interface. You can selectively sync files and, whoa, subfolders. That's not possible with Google Drive. It is now integrated with Microsoft Office Online and there is a version control of your files and you can access deleted files as well. But of course, there are some cons that you should be aware of. There is no real-time collaboration features like you may know from Google Docs and love from Google Docs. Folders cannot be uploaded directly via the web app. Overall, the feature set is pretty limited. For example, you cannot set a password for shared links or limit the number of downloads for a link. Now, let's hop over to iCloud. Although it's not really a standalone cloud service, but rather an addition to the Apple universe, if you will, most of the services in iCloud only work if you are using an Apple device, and if you're not, it's really unnecessary. That's why I hesitated a little bit to include it in this list in the first place, but I wanted to make sure to cover all the big boys in this video. Again, 
let's have a look at some of the pros. It is obviously very well integrated with the Apple devices. It has a very easy to use Swift interface. File syncing is pretty smooth and painless. Although you can really forget to sync larger files as this is rather painful and slow. Smaller files and settings files within the iCloud and Apple ecosystem are, is fine though. Now there are some cons. Well, it's only available on some Windows OSs apart from the Apple devices. Sharing is a little bit difficult if you're trying to move your data on a non-Apple device or collaborate with people on non-Apple devices. There's no collaboration features or selective sync available. And I found it a bit difficult to locate data in the iCloud drive and differentiate between the different folders. There may have been also some security issues as it has been hacked before, but then again, basically any major cloud storage service has been hacked before. There have been some attempts, so you have to feel comfortable in general sending your files to the cloud and your files being with a US service. Yeah, there's OneDrive. Hey, what about you, OneDrive? Now, formerly known as SkyDrive, it was revamped into OneDrive by Microsoft. And since then, the company has been pushing to get more and more customers to use their cloud services. Now, though OneDrive still has a long way to go, its real deep integration with Microsoft Office is definitely luring in more customers. And if you're living in the Office ecosystem anyway, and have an Office 365 subscription, it is a natural companion and a no-brainer, of course. So. Let's look at the bright side of uh, OneDrive. First, you get a five gigabyte free storage limit. And I'm a little bit hesitant to put it onto the pro side because as with Google Drive, it used to be 15 gigabytes, but they restricted their plans heavily due to overuse of some users. As I said before, it is very well integrated with Microsoft Office. You can set the shared file access to read only or full edit, which is similar to uh, Google Drive. Of course, not all is shiny and rosy. There are also some cons. One of the slower services in terms of upload and download speed is unfortunately the case with OneDrive and it only occupies fourth place in our speed comparison. You can have an in-depth look in our speed chart in the corresponding article by clicking right here. Also, there's no real-time collaboration features. You need to be an Office 365 subscriber for that. File versioning for files other than Microsoft Office is still missing and they limit the upload file size to 10 gigabytes. Last but not least, there is Amazon Cloud Drive. Amazon just recently relaunched their cloud service called Amazon Cloud Drive and it has definitely gained some attention because of the unlimited storage deals going around lately. Although storage isn't all you need in your cloud service, just a little side note. Amazon Cloud Drive is certainly more a drive in the cloud rather than a syncing service because you can basically dump your files and free up some hard drive space if you want. Whether or not you should be doing that is obviously for you to decide because it could be a little risky to trust your data with just one service. So the pros are obviously unlimited storage. That's of course a major sales driver. There's free unlimited photo storage for Amazon Prime members and it has a simple interface combined with drag and drop features. Previewing files in the web browser works nicely, though of course not all file types are supported for live preview. Of course, on the other side, there are some cons as well that you should really be aware of. There is no file syncing ability. Limited sharing capabilities, there's also a problem because you can only do that from the web browser and there is no real collaboration features. The desktop app is very limited. If you want to download a file, you need to do that via the web interface because you can only download your entire drive from the app. Unlimited storage claim is obviously a little flimsy and we go more into detail in this video series a little later on. Now, which service should you pick? The solutions presented here are all good. They do the job of syncing files more or less faulty free apart from Amazon Cloud Drive and some OneDrive issues. But for some users, um, it makes more sense to use one service than the other. If you're a Microsoft Office user, for example, and you juggle a lot with spreadsheets, OneDrive is a safe bet. If you're collaborating with a lot of people in the same documents in real time, go for Google Drive. Are you a designer or a video producer? You may want to give Dropbox a try because of their excellent syncing capabilities. 
Use Cloud Drive from Amazon if you need cheap backup or have a lot of music or photos and are using Amazon anyway. And iCloud, well, use it when you have an Apple device, but don't even consider it for heavy file syncing needs. One thing are all of the solution presented above not. They're not for businesses. In fact, Amazon even discourages users even to use their cloud drive for business. As a business, you need business class cloud storage. And you can find solutions, obviously, on cloudwords.net by clicking right here. Some of the services have business versions, like Dropbox for Business, but they're not there yet to, to really replace business or enterprise cloud syncing services. So I really hope I could shed some light onto the major cloud storage solutions. Remember to watch the in-depth videos in this comparison right here, or check our, compar on our companion article in the description box below. Also make sure to download our companion sheet where we compare all features of the individual services so you don't have to spend too much time researching and pulling your hair out. You can download that sheet here as well. Let me know if you have any questions and remember, thumbs up. And if you like the video, subscribe for more awesome content.